Pokala, can you hear us now? I can hear you loud and clear. Good oh, afternoon. Oh, wonderful. So, what's the update uh, at this time, Pokala? Well, uh, I think there's quite a number of um, issues with low voter turnout still in the area that we have visited here in Ibadan. And even some parts of um, Oyo and other zones in the state. But um, as the day progresses, we know that um, the turnout is getting a little bit more impressive. We spoke to one of the um, INEC staff earlier on, who also confirmed that by this time, during the presidential election, they have had like twice what they're having right now who have voted. But with me, I have um, an observer, the Director General of the Nigeria Institute of uh, Policy uh, Strategic Studies, Kuru Joss, uh, who will also share with us what his experience has been since he has been monitoring the process. Good afternoon, Prof. Yeah, good afternoon. I will meet you, sir. Well, I'm Professor Ayomo Tayo. I'm the Director General of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies. I'm here because um, my organization is in partnership with the EU to observe elections. Uh, at this time, we have our fellows in um, 12 states of the Federation, six each from the six geopolitical zones, monitoring elections in 12 different states. Uh, I'm supposed to be in Abuja today, but because there is no governorship election going on in Abuja, I chose Oyo State uh, for election observation. Thank right. you. So, so far, from what you have seen, what did you deduce? What can you say um, is what is playing out since you started monitoring the election? Okay, uh, for the presidential election, the turnout was actually very large. Uh, the enthusiasm was huge. Uh, not only as I observed in Abuja, but as also observed by our, our people all over the 12 states that we monitored. But today, it appears to be different. In Oyo State, uh, up till 10 o'clock, the turnout has been so very low. And then we are hoping that before, maybe 12, 2, before um, we reach the end of uh, polling, maybe more people will come out. But the good thing is that um, it has been generally peaceful. Uh, people have probably feared violence, and there has been no violence reported so far by all the teams that we have in Oyo State. Uh, we are taking reports from other parts of the country, and it still shows that this election has been very peaceful. All right, so you are an academic. Apart from uh, the obvious scare from violence, what can you say is usually responsible for voter apathy when we have situations like this? Well, as an observer, I'm not supposed to say too much, but generally if um, people hear, just hearing that there may be violence, they stay away from the elections. And of course, in many other elections, uh, the voters are usually more interested in the presidential elections because they feel once the presidential election happens the rest of the elections will follow follow suit so when they don't think that their party has won at presidential level there is usually voter apathy and i think that is also what is turning out here today there is nothing else to say that is that should be the reasons thank you, thank you so much Prof, for your time sir thank you sir there you have it, um, that's first-hand um, uh, experience from those on the field who have also been monitoring the, the event. We are still here, uh, still monitoring the uh, elections, and uh, we hope that as the progresses, we'll have more cheering news to share uh, from Ibarra, the state capital.